Ash, how's it going? Yeah, good man. You okay? How are you? Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. I know, good to yeah. see you. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been Remember, quite a long time. we're talking to the camera. You're not just talking yeah. to me. There's a yeah, big yeah, audience. Yeah, big they audience want to know today. what you've brought me and. Uh, what have you brought me? Well, yeah, nothing says uh, happy birthday like a uh, composite fence and range, okay? So, yeah, exactly. So, um, so pretty much to compliment our composite decking, which you know you've worked with before on a couple yeah. of jobs previously, um, we've now released uh, a, a, a UK uh, manufactured composite fencing board. Right. Which is brilliant, okay? UK um, made. Yeah, UK manufactured, okay? So, this is made up in the middle of the country in Telford. So, if, you, if you're ordering this sort of stuff, you're not going to be waiting. Loads of time yeah. for it to come into yeah, the country, yeah. like with some products. Oh, yeah, you, you know, if you're looking at a sustainability point of view as well, it ticks all the boxes because again, it's made up of Telford. So, right. uh, everyone has this illusion of pretty central in the UK, exactly, yeah, central in the UK. Obviously, everyone has an illusion of composite decking, yeah, there might be an element of that which is recyclable. But if you've got to ship it halfway from China to here, yeah, and we've spoken about that before, yeah, it's so important yeah. when we think yeah. about the environment and the future that we're going into, so you yeah, have to definitely. think about the product we're using. Yeah, yeah. So what's this called, Ash? What's it called? Okay, so this is called, uh, this is called Horizon uh, Fencing, okay? So, uh, so within BSW, we have, um, we have essentially another arm, which is called BSW Composites, okay? And right. that's the Alchemy brand. So the brand is Alchemy, okay? So under that, under that brand, uh, you'll, find, uh, the, um, you'll find the hollow composite deck board, which is a Habitat Plus. Yeah. You'll also find the solid board, which is the urban board, Mainly for commercial applications, sort of thing like that. Still very good, though. Still, yeah, exactly. Yeah, still very well. You've used it, a couple of times, yeah, haven't you? very good. So um, you know, it's a very sturdy board, very hot, um, very good, good board. Um, and then also we released uh, Horizon, which is fencing. Well, I hope this is Horizon as good as that board that we were just talking about. Um, Ash, it's very modern, very contemporary. Is yeah. that what the public want now? With yeah, modern exactly contemporary. Yeah. So when you're looking at, um, obviously, you're looking at a lot of composite deckings, you're looking at a lot of slabs, or especially favours. Where you seem to be porcelain, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, porcelain, yeah, exactly. That's so looking, yeah. yeah, so we're just following that trend of where it's going in terms of colours, um, you know, in ease of, um, of fitting as well. Obviously, you guys are busy, uh, just want to make this as easy as possible for you to fit. Could you fit this to an existing fence, like with concrete posts? Or yeah, of course, yeah. So, so if you've got an existing concrete H post, um, all you would do is we, that we provide a black strip, uh, which essentially goes in between the concrete H post. Right. Okay, and then you can fix to that, and then these boards, like a tongue and groove system, so they just get stacked up. Yeah. So very so quick exactly. installation. Yeah, exactly. And, so, and yeah, sorry, I, I'm no, just sorry. really excited about this because it's always good to know about yeah, new products. Is people want to know about it. Um, what about if there was a wooden fence there? And yeah, you had wooden yeah. posts. Can okay. you as, a, as an existing yeah. um, wooden yeah. post? Uh, okay, then. So essentially, um, what you do is you replace your wooden post with uh, a composite post. Right. Okay. okay so um, you know if this. Um, if it's in a perfectly straight line, that's absolutely fine. You know, or we do a 90 degree, so we do a corner post as well. Okay, so we change the direction and we do a 90 degree post as well, um, which we'll go over anyway, which is in the book. Okay, um, so, so it's all in the brochure. Yeah. And these posts are in like a, an hexagonal sort of yeah. octagon or whatever you yeah, call yeah, it. Exactly that, yeah. Different shape, yeah. different look, and not honest, like everyone else's. Exactly, and that's to stand out from everyone else. We know that there are other competitors out there that do the same board, but you would not see the same post as this. Yeah, I think it gives you a bit more of a, a profile, doesn't it, when you yeah. when you see the angles it on it. It looks like a chamfered edge. Right. Chamfered edges, so. Yeah, absolutely. And you've got the caps on the top, and then I see, just here, you've got like this little stopper, I think, yeah. isn't it? Very, yeah. let's get so, out. Yeah, exactly so this, this little stopper here is um, what's to stop the boards coming up. Yeah, now. exactly. So essentially this part here, so this is a, so this is a cap and rail. You know, you fairly traditional yeah. sort of, um, wooden cap and rail, um, but it's obviously a composite rail. So again, high winds, depending upon what areas you are in, uh, there could be a chance of lifting. So right. to stop that, um, we have the inserts, okay, screwed into the post. So that's not going to go anywhere. Right, okay. Okay. And this is called the capping part? Yeah, so this is the capping rail. So um, what's probably a bit hard to see here at the moment, but essentially this, so this is one board. Okay, ah, so right. most traditional boards, um, oh, so can we get that out? Yeah, Do you mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you're saying off. that this is one board. So if you yeah. take take the sheet, so you, the caps come in different colours. Uh, no, so it's just an anthracite grey. Anthracite grey. Yeah, in, okay. yeah, in the uh, in the uh, in there. So if you just take that stopper out of the top. Yeah. Get that stopper out there. Perfect. Okay, so get the um, yeah. So uh, just a cap and rail. Okay. So it's a hollow. Uh, so it's a hollow cap and rail. Lightweight. Yeah. Is it still strong? Yeah. Yeah. Of course it is. Yeah. It's still, still strong. So easy to use. The, the, the benefit with, it, with our products, okay, so it's a fully 
wrapped, um, so it's a fully cat product, okay, so fully cat and HDPE, which is the high density uh, polyethylene. Right. Um, so it's a lot more uh, longer wearing, UV resistant, stain resistant, scratch resistant, okay, so it's a lot more harder wearing board. Um, is this coming from recycled product as well? Yeah, again? So we, we're, yeah. We're, we're not just chucking it into the landfill now, we're, we're making something with it again. Definitely. So, Reproduce it. So you, what you've got to take into consideration as well is that obviously a, a large proportion of this is actually wood. So it's the wood fibre, um, so it's about 60% wood fibre. So and wood that's what a composite is. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Yeah, no, 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 so no, sorry, no. Sometimes yeah, I, I'm, I'm a bit of a numpty like a few people out there, is that we've got to think about like the, a composite being a mixture between wood and plastic products, yeah, really. Pretty, pretty much, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of working in harmony together, okay? So a recyclable plastic mixed yeah. in with uh, a wood flower. And, yeah. and then there's a few kind of, you can take a couple of percent for pigments, for, um, for colouring. UV stabilizers. You can't give the ingredients away, can we? No, exactly. Can't, no. Give, can't, the can't, give, the, can't give the secrets away. No, um, not at all. So, so. so we're talking about this board here, okay? So, uh, so traditionally you'll have a six inch board or 150 mil. Okay, this is a 300 mil ah, board, okay? Right. So, and, all, and what we've done um, is we've put a V groove uh, down the middle here to separate, you know, to kind of give to it that. To give the technique. appearance that it's, it's, yeah. it's a single board. Yeah, exactly that. And then so you, you can install this quite fast then. So this is yeah. 300. Yes. Yeah. Right? So you're going to erect a fence quite fast with this, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. And that's, and that's what we're just, you know, that, that's what we're trying to do, is that, you know, we're moving with the times in terms of installation, trying to get it, you know, trying to get you guys sort of in and out on the job, essentially. Yeah, you want to be in and out, you want to yeah. earn your profit, and, and just remember that you, your customer wants to see the job yeah, progress, definitely. they want to see um, productivity, don't they? Yeah, yeah they, want to see, they want to see the movement throughout the job, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, whereas, you know, some other boards, it might take a little bit longer. Ah, absolutely. I think it's a real good feeling when you see the job coming on. You know, we know that you shouldn't be rushing a job, but when you're able to erect a, 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 a fence and a situation where you have, it can look just an instant change, isn't it? From, yeah. from where they had the old rotten fence. And now, because how long is this going to last for? So, so, so this has a UK backed warranty of 20 years. What do you mean by UK back warranty? So, so UK back warranty. Okay, so if there's any issue with the boards themselves within those 20 years, then as at BSW, we would uh, rectify that for you. But for 20 years, it's got a UK back warranty. Obviously, a lot of other warranties are um, are, um, are it, so it is another warranty, um, yeah. but this is a UK backed one. So essentially, okay. if you're getting some imported product, the uh, the warranty might come down slightly. Uh, but then again, really the aftercare as well. You know, so if we're looking at um, so we want to come out and have a job and have a look and see after it's finished and things like that. It gives it and you guys, are, you guys are good at that sort yeah, of thing anyway. Yeah, we've got, we've got guys on patch that would happily come down and have a look at the jobs when we're finished. Um, you know, just have a quick look, make sure everything's all right, make sure the customers are right and you guys are happy using it and also a bit of feedback from yourselves. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's so important that, that the, the trade give feedback just so you can improve the product because yeah, of course. we don't necessarily get things right from the outset, do we? No, definitely. You, you've got this gravel board there as well, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, so we've got, uh, so this is a PVC gravel board, uh, okay, so, um, so with PVC it's a lot more hard, you can bury that in the ground and do all sorts. That's it's not, not going to rot, is it's it? It's not going to rot, it's not going to go anywhere, okay, so that's a solid, uh, so, that is a, so that is a solid board. And we, what about the UV again, the, the UV resistance, is it going to fade? Is there a a percentage of so yeah, of fading yeah so what we're probably you know obviously again because of the cat product um uh, because it's capped uh, it, it will fade to a certain point but in percentage wise maybe a couple percent nothing really to yeah nothing, nothing really to, to worry about yeah, nothing, nothing really you're going to notice yeah, drastically so yeah so that's not going to fade quicker than that essentially what should happen is that it should fade at the same rate so you wouldn't have inconsistent boards yeah uh looking you know discoloration or anything like that at all so it should fade to a point uh, essentially then and then not fade anymore okay okay so these posts now, we look at these posts now, um, they feel solid, they look solid, they're hollow inside, they've yeah. got this honeycomb effect. Um, and we, do, I, can you concrete these in? Uh, you can, you can yeah. concrete them in. Um, yeah, you can, yeah. It's, it, it's, so you've got everything in the instructions of how to fit it exactly. Um, yeah. But yes, you can concrete these in, uh, no worries at all. Um, probably, just, uh, probably just another thing to say on the um, uh, on, on the actual boards themselves. Um, a couple of benefits really. Um, right, okay. So uh, obviously, so sustainability wise, it's made in the UK. Um, uh, so it's a fully capped product. Um, it's a 20 year UK backed warranty, guarantee. And in terms of ordering, um, you know, you can get some samples uh, on, on the website. Most, most uh, sort of independent and national merchants will, be know, will know about this product because they deal with us anyway in terms of effectively wooden fencing. So you can go to, into some of the, the preferred suppliers and, yeah. 
you know, and c can we find those preferred suppliers on the on the BSW website? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. So we're also um, we've also been running a, an accredited installer scheme, right, okay. uh, as you know. Um, so we're doing that for, e for the Eero products, sort of general fencing and landscaping, yeah. um, and composite uh, decking as well. Uh, and alongside that, obviously, we've got installers already on the books. Um, so yeah. if you are a good yeah. landscaper, yeah, a good land, yeah, yeah, exactly. got a good, good landscaper, landscaper, you want them on the scheme, don't you? Yeah, one hundred percent. You know, we, you know, there's always been a bit of a disconnect, I suppose, from the supplier to the to um, to, to you guys. Yeah, and you know, essentially, you're linking that, you're yeah, bringing course, it together, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you've obviously got the middleman, which is the merchant. We want to kind of link them together. We want to have a bit more of a community. Uh, and again, products like this, we'd like to give to you guys. Right. Is there any issues? Have you found any any issues at all? Feedback, we, yeah, feedback, 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 exactly. So that's what we want—a bit of given, you know, a bit of conversation. There's always been a bit of a disconnect. Yeah, absolutely. I, I totally agree with you, and I think what you guys are doing there is absolutely fantastic. When you're bringing a community of landscapers together to ensure that the end the, the end user or the, the customer, the consumer, yeah. is having a good product installed by a good contractor. Yeah, definitely. Ash, can you just remind us what this is called again? Yeah. Okay. So this is called Horizon uh, Fencing, um, and it comes with um, quite a few different sort of accessories. We've got it all in the books. We can get some information sort of sent out in terms of literature. Uh, which is absolutely fine. Uh, just, just another kind of uh, couple of key things to note, probably. Um, so obviously, so you can fit this in between uh, concrete H posts, existing concrete H posts. That's yeah. fine. If you wanted to start a brand new, uh, a, you know, a brand new fence line, it can be fitted on that as well. Okay. So there's two options. Um, two options existing fence. fence. Yeah, an existing fence. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so we, again, we've got all the fitting instructions. Here. Around guys up and down the country, um, you know, we're all over this product. So. And we, you can give us the, the advice if needed. Yeah, if somebody yeah. was looking for um, the BSW site, what what's it called for this product? What, what's okay, yeah. So, the, so if you type into Google, because uh, it comes up on Google, uh, the first couple of searches is um, if you type in BSW composites, right. will come up. Or even if you type in Horizon fencing, it's Horizon that's obviously our own sort of separate name. Yeah. You'd be able to find that easy enough. Uh, and then you can request a sample, request literature. Um, you know, even even do a quote on there. There's a decking cap. There's um, sorry. There's a fencing calculator online as well. So BSW composite. There yeah, it is. There yeah, the BSW, BSW group. I think if you type BSW composite, I think it'll take you straight there. Which yes. is look, it's, it looks like a fantastic brochure you've got uh, installing your fence. They've got a guideline, and and when you said about the H post there, the concrete H yeah. post, the strip going down. Um, look, Ash, we got to say. Like it? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I, yeah, I do like <laughs> yeah. it. But, um, is it expensive? To, to be honest, you know, uh, when you're looking in terms of cost in, against the, against timber, um, it will probably be slightly more expensive. But the lifespan you're getting out of it and the low maintenance, yeah. longevity, yeah, longevity, how quick you can put it up in terms of installation, mm -hmm. and then looking after it. Essentially, you don't need to do anything. As soon as it's in, you don't need to do any maintenance really at all. Um, just, just keep it clean. Yeah, just keep it clean. Maybe go out every now and then, give it a brush, but it's not like your traditional. Um, you ain't gonna have to paint it, are you? That's just yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah, staining. Exactly, yeah, no staining. No, no rotting of the posts yeah. where it's entering the ground. The posts exactly. are cracking off. Yeah. The posts are twisting. The posts are cracking all the way down. Exactly. It's yeah. an easy system. So it's easy. It's affordable and it's available. Well, it's all there. Ash, thanks very much uh, for for that. Really yeah. appreciate it. And remember. If you've got some new products coming out, I'm the man to see. You are. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to get yeah. it to these That's why we're here now. Yeah. Cheers, Ash. Yeah. Thanks very much, mate. Yeah, nice. I appreciate it.